All right, let's do a nice bath. Oh yeah, let's do it. sun today it's cloudy and bright so I'm still wearing my glasses I can see the sun behind the clouds so I don't have the benefit of the warmth <laughs> on my face oh oh it's crazy this is the seventh time I've done this and I still wake up with the dread. <laughs> so I, I did my day trading and uh, went and worked out, uh, went shopping. The garage door opener broke, so I got someone coming at two o'clock. But the whole time there's this cloud over my head called, you're doing a fucking ice bath today. Oh boy. When I was doing my Uber driving, I talked to somebody and uh, <laughs> they were a medical professional. <laughs> and and uh, I said, shit, I'm so on top of longevity. I'm taking ice baths once a week. He goes, oh, me too. I take, I, I just started that. And uh, he goes, how cold's your water? I said, between 45 and 50. He goes, how long are you in? I said, well, lately I've been doing 15 minutes. He goes, oh, you're really, that's a long time for your body to be, you know, that cold. I said, well, how long do you do it? He said, five minutes. I said, five minutes? Wow. So maybe I'm, I'm better off doing it like in between 10 and 15. I don't know. Other than my fingers feeling numb for a couple days once, um, the 15 minutes has worked out okay. If I were doing five minutes, I'd be halfway through already. Okay. This fucking ice bath is dedicated to Don P. Don P. I'm protecting their identity. And I, and I also got permission to do this. So that'll be part of the process moving forward. So... I've known Don P since I think 2003 and I was assisting at a men's initiation ritual in Blue Hill, Maine and he was one of the participants. So it was the first time I met Don and uh, Don's an older man, uh, carries a huge presence. One of those guys that just has something going on when you meet him, you know? And he took to it. And then he and I worked together on uh, several initiation ritual events for men. And of course that brings old people very, very close. And uh, he has a way of expressing himself that very few men have. He's willing to go into really deep, dark, emotional places and express himself and also express uh, a lion's force. I was thinking how to describe it. When he really feels something, uh, everyone's riveted. Everyone's like, what, what? I got to pay attention to this guy. And he became very esteemed in our group and we always referred to him as the elder um, <laughs> the elder and uh, you know he got to where he could just walk around <laughs> and, and say, utter a few words here and there and we all like oh that's very profound that's awesome that's great I get that now at some point uh, I asked Don if he wanted to um, 
work with me as a partner on an event where we do a burial ritual. I mean, who's crazy enough to want to do that? Don said he did. So I told him about the ritual that I had done and how I thought we could bring it to you know some men. So he went and did this burial ritual in his backyard and had a profound experience. So we thought this would be great. So I don't know how many we did, four or five of them, where men would come and the main thing that we did together was this burial ritual overnight from the sun down till the sun the next morning. And it was so great having Don there because of his presence. When these guys would spend all their time in the dirt, which is not easy, it's very difficult. Only less than half of the men make it all the way through the night. They would get out and there would be Don with his arms wide open, this big bear hug for them. And it was just such a perfect way for them to end that powerful process they went through. I remember looking at him and thinking, I can't do that. <laughs> I don't have that thing that he has that uh, calls people to him like that. And, um, you know, so Don, Don, you're a remarkable human being and you've made a powerful impact on my life. And I know all my friends uh, over the years. And just last week sometime, we heard that Don had a blood clot in his lung. So that's why I wanted to dedicate this to him. And I called him this morning and he sounded like his old self. And I said, you're alive. <laughs> and he goes, yes, I am indeed. <laughs> so we had a good talk and we talked about getting old and uh, things like that. So it was good to connect with Don. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll just wrap it with Don and say, I hope, I hope you stick around another 20 years. Uh, that would get you to about a hundred and, uh, look forward to our next get together, whatever it may be. Uh, it's always special, always special when Don's around always. It's like the magic, uh, it's like the magic sauce. The secret sauce on the hamburger is a Don P. So Don, thanks for being in my life. I love you. You are the man you are. Thanks for all your open-hearted sharing in my life. You taught me a lot. Okay. Let me get into my Zen a little bit here. So I invite anyone who um, has thought about doing this to do it. It's a, uh, okay, the shivering has started. We're eight minutes in, the shivering has begun, good. So it's definitely colder than last, uh, last week when the sun was shining. That sun really made a difference. It's still beautiful back here. It's just the, the sky is gray. But everybody asks me, why, what's the benefit of doing it? So if you want, you know, go Google it. But I'll tell you the thing that they don't say. It just happened to me now six times in a row. Is after I get out, I'm gonna be very cold for like a half hour or so. So I don't take a hot shower, I, I stay cold. I put sweatpants on, I put a shirt on, I put a robe on, slippers, you know, Last week, I, got, I went and lied out in the sun. Can't do that today. But eventually, you know, you feel normal again. But the thing that's the best about it for me is one day a week, one afternoon a week, I get that vibe of, I don't give a fuck about anything. You know, everything's okay. There's nothing going on that's for me to worry about. You know, and I, I think it's because there's a fear of the pain of doing this, the, the, the you know, just the fear of all the, all the aspects about actually doing this, that, you know, we say, fuck it, I'm gonna get in the water and I'm gonna stay in and, and be done with it. And it's such a powerful lesson for me to learn every week. Um, and it translates into this kind of 
you know, dopamine, pride, uh, accomplishment, discipline, rush of, I don't give a fuck about anything. You know, life's pretty good. And I, don't, I don't know about you, but I can use that <laughs> at least once a week. <laughs> it's kind of like when you have a little bit of like uh, margaritas, you know, and that little bit of heater comes on and you're like, oh, this feels really good. You know, it's like that, but a little more mm, in your body, a little more, uh, fuck yeah, you know, I just don't care. Everything's good. And then Friday comes around and, you know, it's worn off, but um, you get to remember it. And then you can call it, you know, call it into your life, whatever you want, the memory of it, the feeling of it. The more you do it, the more it becomes a part of, the, of me. Okay, I'm already at 11 minutes. Somebody asked about the music that plays at the beginning and the end. I, um, I'm creating a morning show where people can watch me day trade. I'm not sure when it's gonna start, but I'm starting to put parts together. And one of the parts is like some introductory music while people wait for me to arrive. And uh, I hired a guy on Fiverr to write me a really nice piano kind of ballad uh, lo-fi, I think it's called lo-fi. Anyway, he gave me three different versions of five minutes each. And that's what that music is. It's really beautiful, really, really beautiful. Um, so, it's mine. It's not copyright protected. I can use it for however I want. That's the great thing about having a, hiring a musician to make some music for you. You don't have to worry about someone coming after you two years down the road saying you owe them money oh the other thing I did which I'm kind of embarrassed to say at the age of 63 but I I didn't have a uh, revocable living trust I didn't have a will I didn't have a plan for you know what kind of funeral service I want I didn't have a health care directive and I didn't have a power of attorney so I got all of those done yesterday and uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go and get them all notarized and then I'm good you know for a year you know I'll try and update it once a year but um, I felt really good really really good to get that done really good like a real weight lifted off my shoulders I don't know why I thought it would be so difficult but of course you know there's websites and apps and you know La Depot, that's the company I used. I will recommend them, La Depot. They answered my questions, um, and I had a lot of questions. And it's not very expensive. Way cheaper than an attorney. For a pretty, you know, mine's a pretty basic setup. So, um, really pleased I got that done. I'm almost done already. Fuck yeah. My fingers feel better today. I don't feel quite as um, numb. Oh, 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 oh. 50 degrees, yeah. So it seems like, uh, mm, 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 mm. Whew. two bags of ice gets it down to about 45, 46. One bag is about 48 to 50. But it feels much colder today because it's colder outside. I don't know what the temperature is right now, but it's not like 85 like it was last week. I was hoping for a little more rain. I wanted it to rain on me. 
no rain. It has been raining. It was a big dark cloud above my head. I can feel a little drop just hit me in the eye. Okay, 15 minutes. I gotta get out. Whew.